My God, I got something. I got something. I'm covering up my personal information, but I got something from Sand Good Original. Now, I'm not going to show you. All right, you're just going to see my head. Hopefully, you can just see my head, nothing below. Ready? Ready for this? There's only a thousand of these in the UK. And a thousand in the US, I think. So there's, like, there's only 2,000 in the world, I think. That's the number, anyway. If it bleeds, we can cook it. <laughs> and I, I decided to get the um, limited edition Heisen Barrel t-shirt. I've got the stickers. Um, I won a competition on Twitter, and um, Evan Eckhart himself sent me some... Well, sent me a free sticker. I'm not sure how many there is. I think there might be a couple, or maybe just one sticker. I can't remember. But... Just taking my shoes off now because I just got in from uh, work at the pet store. My eye keeps twitching, like my eyelid keeps get keeps getting like a weird twitching thing, and it's supposed to be when you're like not had enough sleep and stuff that you get that. But um, so yeah, let's see what I got in my pocket. Move that out of the way. That was the t-shirt I was wearing, and yes, it's an extra large. Large is like not good enough for me. It's too tight, and, like not long enough. So I have to get extra large. It's a bit baggy, but it's long enough. Cause I'm six foot two. <laughs> People who didn't know that, I'm tall as fuck. <laughs> but anyway, um, they weren't in my pocket and neither was the battery. It's just all this piece of junk and then a bus ticket and stuff. So you know the drill. And, um, so yeah, there's my pockets cleaned up. But yeah, Evan Eckard sent me this sticker, like this thing here, the Heisen Barrel, on like, a sticker. I'm not sure how many stickers there were, like I said, in a package. I've actually got no idea where they are because I got them just before I moved again. So they're packed up in a box somewhere from stuff that was in my drawers, my desk. But just about to go downstairs now because this t-shirt is awesome. So yeah, I decided as soon as they went out, there was only 12 extra larges left. I got one of 12 extra larges that were left at the time when I purchased it. And um, so yeah, I'm really happy to have it. It's just come today. Like I've literally walked through the door, came here, my dog was like, yeah, he's home. And I was like, oh, package. And I ran upstairs. There's my jacket on the rampage from Bahag and everything, just running upstairs to go put this t-shirt on. And he's just like, you didn't even say hi. Look, oh wait, we got a new t-shirt. So? So well, let, me, let me investigate the t-shirt. You gonna give me a kiss? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him, he's probably like, ooh, smell different. Is it new? Do you like, does the Heisenbauer get an approve? Yeah? Is it approved? Good boy. <laughs> he likes the Heisenbauer. <laughs> but anyway, if you didn't know what Heisenbauer is, it's basically like the guy from Breaking Bad. Um, he's called Heisenberg. I'm not gonna bring any spoilers to it, but the guy, he nicknamed himself Heisenberg. And then. Evan Eckhart and that put like a barrel of a gun and then like, I think it's a barrel of a gun or it's just a normal barrel. But they put like the meth bits because on Breaking Bad the meth is like blue crystal so they've put it going out of him or into his head or something. And it's got like a predator kind of thing. So they call him Heisen Barrel and um, so yeah, if it bleeds we can cook it. So the cook it part's like a Breaking Bad reference and then if it bleeds is like a predator reference. But yeah, doesn't it look awesome? Yes it does! So I'm so happy it's here and um... Mr. here had um, some x-rays a couple of days ago and um, I actually have a vlog to upload that I filmed like a week ago about a week ago <laughs> so I filmed that like a week ago and never uploaded it so I'm probably gonna have to upload that now and then upload this not so long after but um yeah he's just like hey you've been away for a long time been away for eight hours straight <laughs> yep I do eight hour shifts at a pet store we have like a fox cub in, so small and so playful. Like we let it out for a bit of a play in the back room and it's just so cute and so playful. Like he was when he was a little puppy. And he still is. He's just like, you left me for eight hours. <laughs> We've only been alone for six hours, really, because my mum didn't leave until two hours after me. And like, yeah, that, that, that's pretty good. That's, that's good right there. I like that. Yeah, look. He's got like a ball patch now. <laughs> it's like, what you doing with that camera? You get away from my ball patch. Yeah, he's got like a little ball patch now because, like, they had to shave him so they could give him like the sedation thing so he could, you know, go on just so they could do his x rays. And then he came back looking all dopey and he's a bit annoyed at the moment because obviously they've had to mess around with his hips and they found out on one of the hips, I'm not sure which one, there's a growing bone that's growing into the muscle tissue off of his um, hip. So he's going to have to have hip operations. So there's a link down in the description to help raise um, funds for that. 
because it is a serious thing. It needs a hip operation, and we need five thousand pounds. And it's GoFundMe, so it's totally legit. Um, you can donate and share there, and um, you get to choose how much you donate as well. So, and sharing it everywhere is helpful. I don't know if you see it, but if you see my eye, you see that. If you look carefully. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. It's like flickering and stuff. It's Feels really weird. It's been doing it for days. <laughs> been doing it for like three days. Did my GCSE maths test uh, yesterday. Probably failed it because I missed out most of the questions and um, dun -dun -dun. and um, so yeah. I don't know if this is really zoomed in because no, I don't think it is. And um, so yeah, I uh, missed out loads of the questions and stuff. So I've probably gotten a D, which I need to get a C really. And um, that's my minimum. So I don't. I think I've got that, but then that was a non-calculator. I've got a calculator test coming up, so hopefully that might boost the score up to a C. Just I don't know. Hopefully I can get a C. Because um, in the mock maths test, in the whole GCSE test, you have to get a mark of 70, or 70 marks or above to pass and for a C. And I think in the mock test, which was easier than the actual test, I only got 51 anyway. And I'm good at maths, but all this stuff. We never done in the sessions like you do when you do DCSEs, you do sessions building up. And I'm out of camera. Why am I doing that? <laughs> so yeah, you do sessions building up. And um it's like, yeah, whatever. But in any of the sessions building up for the whole year, I didn't know, learn anything about what was in the test. We did other stuff and then came to the test and there was different things in there. So what the hell? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, but staying positive and um, hopefully good. I was more nervous about my English GCSEs, and that's coming not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday. Yeah. So I've got a week off. I'm brilliant. I've got a week off from now because it's Friday. So next week I've got five days off from college and stuff, apart from work that I'm doing on Monday and Friday. Even though there's a bank holiday, my name's still going in. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Know. I only keep turning it around so I can see like how many minutes is left because it's limited amount of minutes I can film for. I've got two minutes twenty four seconds. So <laughs> yeah, so I'm working on Monday and Friday bank holiday Monday, but I'm not really bothered. And then um, I've got what was it? Tuesday I'm probably gonna have off, and then Wednesday and Thursday. College wants me to come in, which Thursday I'm fine with because it's GCC English and it's not for too long. But Wednesday they want me in for a whole day, so I'm only getting one day off, whereas everyone else in the college is getting a whole week off for half term. And I've still got to go in and I only get one day off. Why? <laughs> That's annoying. And I'm actually on Tuesday gonna call my tutor and say I can't come in on Wednesday because. That's ridiculous. At least I'll have two days off then. But she can't expect me because even she said like before, I'm in the entire college. I'm the only student with this amount of stuff to do. Like I have more hours to do with that college and work placement with that college than any other student there. So it's a bit ridiculous, and uh, I'm probably gonna have to end wrap this up now. So PC upgrades are coming. I'll do another vlog on that. Um, let me just see when I can do it. Um, it's Friday. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, I will do another vlog. I'm probably gonna have to upload two vlogs today. I'm gonna do another vlog tomorrow. I'm so excited about PC upgrades and when I'm gonna be having them and when I'm gonna be able to have really brilliant PC videos coming soon. So thanks for watching this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and um, so yeah, thanks for watching and peace out. Have a good day. My eyes flickering still. Eyes tomorrow. <laughs>